hello welcome to my channel uh, if you're new here i'm Teresa. i am knitting a lot this year and i uh, decided to document my journey on youtube i also sew a bit but i don't have any videos yet on it because i want to practice a little bit more before i share anything uh, uh, today uh, i want to do a knitting podcast because it is the end of the month and i have some things to show you uh, i have some finished objects i have some whips um, i actually have no acquisitions so i've been very good with not spending uh, much of my money um, yeah so let's start with the finished objects uh, the first one is one that i talked about in previous uh, podcasts it's actually the second one uh, of this pattern that i'm doing it is the shell bra. I um, I made another one already. I will show you one moment. All right. So um, this is the one that I showed in another podcast, and um, I liked it so much that I want to make a second one. Uh, I just finished it. I weaved in the ends, and uh, it is ready to wear. It is this one. And it is the shell bra again, uh, but in red. And um, I used the same yarn as for the other one, which is Katia Cotton Cashmere. And uh, I will put the number somewhere here because they all have numbers so you know which color it is if you want to buy it. Uh, yeah, it is a really nice uh, bra and really soft. Um, the only thing is that it is a bit... Um, tight because you have to fold the band uh, as you can see so you actually fold it double and uh, then you uh, sew the two seams together but uh, now it is a little bit tight so i hope it uh, loosens up with wear but uh, we'll see and otherwise i maybe will open it up and maybe uh, find another solution to get it and maybe a little bit uh, less tight so yeah, that is the shell bra, which I'm really happy with. Um, it is a really quick make. Uh, the next thing that I actually finished this month um, is the following. The turning point socks. And um, I finished one uh, last month, but then I had second sock syndrome and I didn't finish the second one, but I sort of forced myself to work on them and uh, after a while I uh, got more into it and it wasn't as forced as in the beginning so uh, that would be a tip if you have second sock syndrome to just like force yourself to get over the beginning and then uh, after a while it feels like um, not as, as much as a chore anymore I really like those I feel like uh, these would go very well with um, like a little skirt or something uh, and then cute shoes um, like those instep sandals I don't know if uh, I will try to find a picture uh, what I mean um, yeah I really wanted to have some uh, some long socks and uh, I couldn't really find the, find ones that I really liked, and uh, yeah, now I uh, net, now that I knit, I can of course make myself one. And when I saw these ones, I knew I had to make it. Yeah, these ones I made with durable socks lavender gray, which is this. And uh, I actually bought too much, so I actually have two skeins left of this. Um, so I can make another pair of socks if I want uh, in this color, which I maybe will do. Uh, maybe I will uh, swap them uh, if someone has yarn that I want and uh, they want this. Then another thing that I did, I actually already showed this as a finished object, but the ends were not weaved in. Uh, but I did weave in the ends last week so now it is finished and i wore it actually already out um which was really cool because i felt like such a designer wearing my own piece um it's this camisole number four 
and uh, I weaved in the ends and it looks very, uh, very nice and finished now um, actually um, when I tried it on when I weaved in the ends the thread that I weaved in at the uh, bottom broke and it came loose and um, it was the thread that actually held together the uh, cast off so uh, uh, like it ripped off the cast off like this much and I had to do it again but uh, luckily it, it happened when I was still at home and not when I was uh, already somewhere so I could fix it and do the cast off again um, so now it's really tight and I still have to <laughs> Um, within this end uh, because this is a new end I don't know why I didn't do it then but uh, yeah I can uh, I can hide it a bit because when I wear it I wear it with high waisted pants and I can uh, put it a little bit inside the pants and um, yeah it's not very visible yeah those are actually the things that I finished I actually thought I would be finished with camisole number five which is the first whip that I'm gonna show you but I decided I'm gonna make it a little bit longer I will show you the progress um, this is the front so as you can see I actually did the neckline which I was talking about um, a bit in the last uh, video uh, or the last uh, podcast so I did a neckline it's looking cute and uh, of course, oh, I uh, I sewed the armholes fitted with the double knitted uh, ribbing or the double knitted uh, edges, and I did it at this side as well. So um, it looks very good. It looks very really small, but it stretches a lot. Um, but I decided because I have uh, some yarn left. Oh. I actually have this much yarn left um, I will show you so it's quite a bit so I thought I would make it a little bit longer because now it is quite cropped um, and you can wear it fine with high-waisted jeans but I also want to wear it with not high-waisted jeans so I decided to not cast off uh, the bottom yet and um, I want to do like a few more centimeters uh, so I uh, find it long enough and uh, then we can cast off and uh, wear it um, actually for this uh, this top I uh, used uh, knitting for olive merino yarn uh, in the color putty I also used the same kind of yarn for this camisole um, but I did it for this camisole in the color um, dusty artichoke then one other uh, thing that is a whip uh, it's actually a new whip I did the first one of uh, the Bembe socks and I'll show you for a bit so it is a lot of uh, knits and pearls and uh, it looks really nice till now I will show you a photo in because it, um, it is a pattern from the 52 weeks of socks book and I'll show you what it looks like there so you can have an idea what the end product will look like I will not uh, show the pattern but uh, I hope you can see I hope it is uh, clear but if it's not I will just put a picture somewhere so you can have a more clearer look I will also link every pattern that I'm talking about uh, in the description below so you can look it up if you want to know more about it or want to look it up for whatever reason uh, the next thing that uh, is a whip is actually the following it is the Ingrid sweater which I showed also in the last podcast but then I just finished the body and now uh, oh. And now I uh, finish the body and also a little bit of the sleeve. I hope to finish this one uh, soon as well. Uh, one thing that I don't really get with the Ingrid sweaters, actually, uh, I don't want to 
say too much about the pattern but uh, you have to increase with the sleeves of course um, and with the cross uh, pattern you get a really weird cross stitch I don't know if you uh, I will show you how, what it looks like so yeah it's, uh, as you can see it is a little bit weird so I don't know if anyone has a tip on how to fix it because yeah it's not that noticeable but because I know I notice it a lot and I would like to do it over if uh, or maybe if I don't find find it out before I finish the sleeve maybe do the other sleeve with the uh, the proper way but yeah I feel like it is really nice I hope it blocks out a lot as you can see it is quite stretchy and uh, if you hold it like this it is quite small and it's supposed to be oversized so um, yeah we'll see but uh, the more I work on it the more I like it because it's uh, the more I work on it the more it's looking like the finished uh, the finished project um, yeah I think this might be my favorite sweater uh, uh, together with sweater number 15 once it's finished so I'm very excited to finish it and uh, wear it um, but that will probably be in fall uh, when it's not that heat that uh, warm anymore because it's really warm here in uh, the Netherlands I feel like there are heat waves all over the world especially in Britain but here we also had uh, a little bit of a heat wave it was almost 40 degrees uh, Celsius and um, it was really hot so it was better to not even leave your house or if you left your house go swimming because it was too hot to handle literally um, uh, those are uh, my uh, finished objects and whips I actually don't have any I actually don't have any acquisitions this month but I would like to buy some stuff that I have on my list but I actually want to use the stuff that I bought first so uh, I have to make sweater number 14 uh, first with the sweater quantity of yarn that I bought from Drops um, but I do want to buy some sock yarn which I will let you know which one that is okay so I found it it is the I hope I pronounce it right um, it is the Schachenmeyer or SMC Regia print for ply white multicolor and it is a sock yarn uh, because yeah I'm gonna use it for socks and it is speckled uh, which I was looking for for a long time so I'm probably gonna buy that for my next pair of socks that I want to finish from the 52 weeks of socks book um, also still on my list but it is a bit expensive to just buy is the Leica set um, and uh, I want to buy the Driftwood set the grey one um, I just think it is really pretty and it also has more sizes than I have now with my Knit Pro set um, I am uh, excited to uh, work with them I heard very good stories about them um, I only have metal needles now but I would like some uh, wooden needles as well so uh, when I saw them I just fell in love and I wanted to have them but um, yeah I don't think it's the time yet I feel like if I just buy them now then the wait is over and the excitement is over and I want to have the excitement about maybe getting them in the future a little bit more I don't know if that makes sense um, but also, uh, but yeah, I hope to maybe buy them for my birthday, which is in uh, September. Uh, so we'll see if I do it then. Uh, another thing that I want to buy is um, the Peruvian Highlands wool for the Ying Yang modification sweater for a sp uh, from Spectacle Strick. Um, I think I want to do the yin yang modification sweater in red and white 
but uh, they have a lot of shades of both red and white so I want to uh, it would be best if I could see them in person first but um, I feel like it's a, they are very the shop that I want to get them from is very far from me so I would have to make a trip uh, to get them or if I should just get one skein of uh, a few colors and then send them back which ones I don't want and then get a sweater's quantity of the ones that I want. So I don't know yet what I want to do but um, that is definitely on my to-do list after uh, sweater number 14 is done. Um, yeah, so I think that's actually... Uh, all that is on my list uh, now I want to talk about a little bit about my sewing experience which I'm also doing um, uh, if you watch other videos you know that I did a sewing course and I um, was making pants uh, the pants are almost done I only have to hem them at the bottom and then they are done uh, but I feel like the thing with sewing is that I'm struggling to sew in a straight line because sometimes the fabric goes like this, if that makes sense. And then the line also goes like this and it has to go like this. Um, yeah, so I'm still practicing that a little bit. I will show the pants um, when they are done. I can show them now. I have them on actually. So the, these are the pants. And they have to be hemmed, so they are really long and I step on, on them all the time. But uh, yeah, I did the pants and I actually did an invisible zipper, which was really cool because uh, I never put in a zipper in anything and now I can put in zippers. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, I, I would love to sew more and uh, get more experience because I really do love it. It is really different from knitting because... Um, I feel like knitting is very relaxing and you can do it while watching something or doing something else and with sewing you have to get out uh, all your supplies and then uh, just sit down and uh, focus on the sewing so it is a bit different and not something that I would do every day but it is really fun because uh, my dream is to have a, a handmade wardrobe one day, a fully handmade wardrobe and uh, and I feel like you, you do need to know how to sew uh, for that because some things you just cannot knit. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's actually it for uh, today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, all that I made. Um, I definitely enjoyed uh, making making it and working on it and talking about it. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like. And uh, if you want to and you like to see more of me, you can also subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, which I will put here. I will also link it below. I will link my Ravelry below. Uh, so yeah, uh, I hope you uh, have a great rest of your day and uh, I hope to see you next time. Thank you.